Welcome at Ubisoft Montreal on Far Cry 2's production floor. Around me, 150 people are working extremely hard to deliver for fall a PC, PS3 and 360 title. This is an introduction to some of the coolest feature we have in the game. And in case you're wondering, all you're about to see will be available on all platforms. Far Cry 2 takes place in Africa, so we went there. But we wanted the real Far Cry experience, so no hotels for us. We stayed in the wilderness with the animals. We visited savannas, woodlands, jungles. We came back with over 7 gigs of pictures, dozens of hours of HD footage, and a truly terrifying story of lions in our camp at night. An experience that I truly would not want to live through ever again. But when we came back and realized what we had and applied it to the game, we knew that it was all worth the effort. Far Cry 2 is simple. You have one mission, and that's to hunt down and kill the Jackal. And the Jackal is this notorious arms dealer who's been selling guns to both sides in this factional conflict that's just torn apart this Central African nation. Uh, the UFLL and the APR are the two factions who are just sort of squabbling over whatever table scraps they can get out of this, this terrible, terrible mess. Uh, in order to complete your mission, you have complete freedom to go anywhere you want into 50 square kilometers of open African terrain. If you want to go into the jungles, into the you know, river systems, the lakes, the valleys, the canyons, the, the open savanna plain, the grasslands, the desert, all of this is just beautifully fully rendered and you're free to go anywhere you want at any time. Uh, in order to track down the jackal and, and take him out, you're going to have to take missions for those factions. But What's really important is that how you do those missions is really up to you. If you're the kind of player who likes to play stealthy and sneak through the grass with your silent weapons, take out the smallest number of people possible, you're totally free to do that. If you like to snipe, get up on the high rocks and take people out from far away, go ahead. If you like to go in hard and heavy with you know, mounted weapons and vehicles and grenades and rockets and you know, full frontal assaults, that's totally up to you. If you want to burn the place to cinders, go ahead. And that's what Far Cry 2 is about, really. It's about giving the player the opportunity to play the game he wants to play the way he wants to play it.